Hey there, Mr. Dunaway here. This is just a quick video to show you how to take something in uh, Microsoft Word and convert it into a PDF. PDF stands for Portable Document Format, and basically that's uh, a really simple way to send a, an exact picture of a document that you create to someone else uh, where they see it exactly as it was uh, intended to be seen, and it kind of kind of prevents the issues that uh, Microsoft and Google sometimes have in uh, communicating together when you're uh, uh, trying to get things to speak between the two things. So it's it's a pretty powerful thing to know for you. And I just say this, it, this is Microsoft Word that I'm going to be showing you. This also works in PowerPoint and Excel. You can take things and turn them into uh, PDF files for people to view and they, they can't edit them either which is uh, sometimes that's a positive thing for you. So this is just a, uh, a document I'm working on. Uh, I've got a long way to go to finish it but I'm working on how to uh, instructions to use a 3D printer. Like I said I'm not um, done with this by any means but if I wanted to change this, let's pretend I was done, I wanted to change it to a uh, PDF file. Really simple to do. You just go up here to file, click on file, and you do save as, and then you find the place that you want to save it. You, if you're a student watching this, probably will be saving things on the M drive. You could put it on your H drive as well. Um, I know for my class, you'll be doing this a lot before you upload it because I can see, again, I can view uh, all the font changes you did that I probably would be able to see if you uploaded a uh, um, the the doc file itself. So you find the place you want to put it. You now your yours will look different. I can see everybody's M drive here. You can't. So find the place you want to save it. I'm gonna just put it on my desktop. Um, how to use a 3D printer. Uh, it says and it's supposed to be at CST. Change that. And then what I do a lot on the PDF files, I actually type the letters PDF at the end, not with a dot. Um, just at the end, it'll put a dot on there for you. And here's the main part right here. Right here it says save as type. It says Word document. If you click in that bar, you'll get a full menu of ways that you can save this document in other um, formats. You are able to actually convert it to an older version of Word and even into a template if it's something that you will be using a lot. Uh, but we want uh, for this PDF, you just click on PDF, and uh, it'll make a couple changes. You should see PDF right there. And then you just click Save. And actually, it, it'll, it'll go back to the Word document right there. And then it usually will open the PDF for you. And so that is actually the PDF. Now, you'll notice I can't click and edit. I can click and scroll. And that's one of the things. I'm, it might be a document. I don't want someone to edit. And you would be able to see it exactly as it's written um, for you there. And then if I were to go to my desktop, and I have a really messy desktop, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to find it. Sometimes I put things out here. And then there it is right there, how to use a 3D printer. Double click that. There it is, a PDF file for you. So uh, probably if you're watching this or this is uploaded in your Google Classroom, you need to do that and then close that document and then upload it, uh, whatever the instructions are in class. And I hope that is helpful for you. Nice short video for you. Let me know if you have questions.